Hi, it's Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. I'm here in Diker, Diker Heights, Brooklyn. Um, I'm here because we have a severe situation where we are seeing firehouses throughout our city uh, being short staffed because of the mayor's mandate. So right now I'm at 149, hook and ladder 149. Um, the ladder is closed right now uh, and because it was uh, short staffed. The engine is still operating, but again, you need both the engine and the ladder to be operating to get appropriate response for our city when it comes to emergency situations. Now, it's my understanding that there has been already 26 firehouses throughout our city that have seen either their ladder company or their engine company uh, close due to staffing issues. This is an issue created by Mayor de Blasio. They have created this situation and putting New Yorkers at risk. First, it was the cops. Remember, they voted to defund the police. They took away tools and resources from our police. In addition to that, they decided it was a good idea to take away qualified immunity from our police. We have seen record retirements, roughly 75% increase in retirements from our police officers, particularly those seasoned, seasoned experienced police officers, detectives, um, and other law enforcement leading to this city, I believe, being less safe. And you're seeing the stats uh, every single day. You're reading the newspapers. So you know that we are seeing record crime uh, skyrocketing uh, over last year. And last year, it was already an increase over the previous year. Now we see the mayor and the city going after our other emergency response and all city workers by mandating this vaccine. Um, but what we're seeing, unfortunately, is the mayor, you know, thinking that he's going to save lives with by mandating the vaccine, he could actually create another situation in this city where people can be gravely concerned. And so again, the engine is open, but the ladder is closed. And we need all our ladder companies and all our engine companies throughout the city to be available if there is an emergency. God forbid there is a major fire or a severe car accident or if a crime takes place, or even worse, God forbid there's a terrorist attack, we're gonna not have the proper staffing? That's just ridiculous, and it's so negligent on behalf of the mayor when he can easily allow these first responders and city workers to still continue to do the weekly COVID test, COVID test to prove that they are negative. And so I once again urge the mayor to get rid of this mandate, uh, reinstate the testing option at a minimum, that's what he should do, and allow these individuals to come back to work and do their job. And this is today, I believe, I believe this week it may get worse because that is when the real lockout is gonna occur. That is when the police officers and the firefighters are gonna be put on unpaid leave. So the mayor and the city will lock them out and not allow them to come to work even if they report to work that day. So again, mayor, we ask you to cancel this mandate. We ask you to allow these workers to come to work you can have the testing option if, if you want to make sure that they are negative of COVID. But these are the first responders who are out there every single day during the height of COVID. You didn't even give them the proper PPE to do their job. I remember going to the firehouses, the police houses. Uh, they did not have the proper PPE during the height of COVID because of you. And now you're going to say that they can't come to work at this time if they're not vaccinated. That's just, I think, a really big government overreach and certainly not something a mayor on his way out should be reinstating. So thank you uh, everyone who is watching. I hope you'll share this video and I hope you'll pay attention because Tuesday is election day. And if we're tired of what we're seeing in this one party rule city, if we're tired of seeing our police being defunded, if we're tired of seeing their hands tied, if we're tired of seeing these mandates on our city workers and the disrespect from, from the city that we're seeing towards our first responders, only you have the power to change that. Can't keep voting for the same people who, who under one party rule are, are continuing to tax us, mandate us, regulate us, and take away our rights and our freedoms and, and destroy our quality of life in this great city. So I hope you'll spread the word, share this, and let's get out there and continue to support our police, our firefighters, our sanitation workers, and all our city workers who do a great job and deserve more respect than they're receiving right now from many elected officials.